Hello again. Uh, today we're going to smoke a couple uh, small sirloin pork roasts and I thought I'd share with you my techniques and a uh, few little tricks of the trade I've learned over the years. So we'll get started. We're gonna go ahead and get the smoker prepared now. Pretty easy setup, it's pretty cool. Got a little water pan and a uh, place for your wood chips. First, go ahead and uh, fill the water pan up. And I always uh, keep my wood chips, I like to keep a little bit of moisture on them. They don't uh, burn up quite so fast and uh, preserves them a little bit, so. Okay, now we'll move over to the uh, pork butts and get those prepared, get some uh, good rub on them and uh, get them ready to go on. So uh, first, just gonna open these up, get them out on the plate. I think I'm gonna do two different rubs on these. One of them I'm going to use a coffee rub. Looks like pretty good stuff. We've tried it a couple times and seem to like it. And the other is a rub we got in Georgia at the Kingsland. What was that? It was the Kingsland Catfish Festival when they had all that stuff going on. So that's a pretty good rub. We really like that. It's got a little bit of spice to it. Okay, first we'll be giving these things something to uh, make the rub stick. And uh, we've always just used good old fashioned yellow mustard for that. You'd think it would impart some flavor, but it really doesn't. It's kind of crazy. The first time I seen it, I'm like, wow, that's gonna be like a mustard flavored piece of meat, but that is not the case. It really just provides another little extra layer of flavor and you can't you really even, it's not even perceptible whenever you whenever you're eating. It may look like I uh, use excessive seasoning on this, but trust me, by the time a little bit of it drips off and soaks into the meat, all it does is add a lot of flavor. And that's what you're looking for in a good pork roast. Next, the uh, Dave's Rub-A-Dub-Dub. As you can see, these things look amazing and they're not even on the smoker yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get them uh, popped in there. Smoker's up to temp. We're running at about 225, 250. Mm. I wish you were here. We'll let this go for probably a couple hours. Just make sure, check the temperature every once in a while, make sure everything stays good. Uh, I'm saying these things will probably smoke for yeah, maybe three or four hours, and then we'll go ahead and wrap them. That will keep the steam inside and really let them uh, marinate in their own juices and all them seasonings we have on there and everything. So, uh, We'll show you the cooking process as it goes. Got some nice smoke coming off the old master built now. Running at about eh, 225 almost, something around in there. We'll just keep an eye on it here for the next couple hours. All right, we're about an hour into the process here, and I think the uh, chips has dwindled down. I'm not getting much smoke out of it again, so we're gonna go ahead and throw some new chips in there. So this is about an hour in. 
as you can see they are looking pretty tasty already but i would recommend another five hours hello everybody <laughs> so um we got these stickers and every time we stay at a place we have to stay the night that's the rules and once we do that we add it to our travel map so today i'm going to add the state of florida drum roll please timmy smith <laughs> Perfect. Hooray! <laughs> All right, so there is our currently stayed in states. And yeah. as you can see, we have a ways to go. We have a lot more exploring to do, <laughs> but we are up for the task. Or two hours into the cook, excuse me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start basting. Uh, I'm going to make a, a solution of vinegar and oil, just about a 50 50 solution. And then we're gonna add some more chips to it as well. You can pretty much use anything you want. I like using uh, a pretty decent olive oil. Let's add some more chips and baste these pork roast. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more uh, water to the pan there as well. It's getting a little dry. We can probably go ahead and flip these pork roasts too. Yes, they are looking pretty good. I'll get about another hour of smoke, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap these and uh, let them cook. Almost forgot the important part of basting to keep the moisture in. Mm. I wish there was smell-o-vision because you people would be loving this now. I'm gonna make a new glaze from guava paste. I have never so much as opened a can of this, so this should be pretty interesting. Wow, that looks different. Maybe you should taste it first. <laughs> mm. Tell me how it tastes. Man, it is like three times as thick as like peanut butter. <laughs> You know what this needs? The food processor. Let's take a quick peek at it. Oh my. Jim likes making different creations. A lot of times they're very interesting. Mmm, looks delicious. You know, if you didn't know any better, you would think it was some kind of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and uh, drizzle in some olive oil. Finish my thicken it up just a little bit. It's got a pretty decent consistency. You gotta try this, babe. Mm -hmm, okay. It's pretty good. That is really good. That's a, a, like a different tropical flavor. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's like a mix of 
mangoes and berries and all kind of stuff but it's really good it is good i was really surprised i thought it was just going to be kind of jelly like mm -hmm. but it's really really good what do you think it needs i'm going to add a little of the rub to it a little zing yeah little about, a, about a tablespoon into maybe lemon a little bit of cup i don't know Pretty, and I've got vinegar on that. Okay. Mm. It's like a nice thick barbecue sauce almost. Yeah. My... Oh, it's good on bigger burger down here. After uh, looking at this, I think I will go ahead and thin this out just a little bit with water. I really don't want to change the taste of it with vinegar or anything, but that's kind of like a nice thick barbecue sauce right there. Plus a big guava lump, I think that's what that is. And that's like a bonus. Yeah, that looks good. That's a good consistency right there. I think these are ready to go ahead and get the uh, sauce treatment, so... Pull them out of here one by one. Mm. Boy, that's got a nice color. Look at that. That's a nice piece of meat. Mm, that looks good. I went ahead and uh, put that about half cooked pork butt or a roast or whatever you want to call it. in the sauce like i said now that is a sweet kind of it's just really kind of unique and then wrap that good and tight because what you want here is to hold in all the steam and let all that juice be sealed in and as it sits in there and cooks it'll uh Kind of steam itself. Man, tell me if this does not look like something that should be in a magazine. Mmm, mm, Smithfield would love that. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop these back on, but just because I put that extra kind of sugary stuff on there, it'd be a really good idea to not any, allow any direct heat up to it because you're gonna end up burning it. The sugary stuff will burn quick. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this uh, water pan in there and that'll just kind of keep the main heat from coming up underneath these two uh, sirloins here. I think that'll be pretty much all it needs. Let it go ahead and cook for about another two hours. And uh, then we'll come back to this. I think the next time we're gonna throw a uh, squash zucchini mix in there, go ahead and smoke it and have maybe a little breadcrumb crust on it. So I think everything should turn out pretty good. I'm gonna make a uh, stir fry with some squash and zucchini. Uh, to go with the pork this evening. Throw little uh, breadcrumbs on top of it whenever uh, it starts getting closer to done, but I'm gonna go ahead and chop this stuff up and get it ready. Are you gonna add onions? Don't, don't you know I like onions? <laughs> we are definitely gonna add onions. <laughs> stuff you can pretty if you use it in place of salt uh, it gives you a very good amount of seasoning it's like a, a lot of dried vegetables and herbs and spices but it was pretty much use it like salt and I'm gonna go ahead and just a touch of the rub we've been using 
feeble attempt to tie everything to one case. <laughs> and a little more olive oil on top. Mm. Don't skimp on your olive oil. This is some of the best stuff made on earth and it literally won like the world championship. So yeah, this is some good stuff. It's called uh, Iliata. This is kind of olive oil you can put in a little bowl. Uh, add a little lemon juice, get some good crusty bread and dip it in and that, that, that's an appetizer. So yeah, it's some good stuff. I'm gonna add some panko crumbs to the top of this. tastes as good as it looks. That's all I'm saying. Mm, that's some good stuff right there. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the smoker. Let it go for about an hour. Mm. All right, these are looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and slide this in. And uh, since we took the water out, this is going to do a lot to protect the uh, pork roast from getting too much heat, like I said, because of the sugar and stuff in the glaze on it. I am now... I'm going to go ahead and add the onions that I promised to add to the squash because <laughs> Peggy reminded me and then I forgot anyway, so. Mm. I'm going to say we are fans of the Vidalia onion. Okay, I think it's ready for the big reveal here. We've got our uh, two pork roasts. Well, it sure does smell good. Mm. And the zucchini casserole. I'll be back in a second for the pork roast. I am gonna go ahead and unveil the masterpiece here. You better come over so you can get a close look. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up. It don't look like it. Mm. It sure does smell good. Well, it does. Hey, Scott. Hey. Good to come, Scott. He is our <laughs> RV neighbor here mm -hmm. for the month. <laughs> He's uh, remodeling a Ford Dolphin trailer. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Mm. It's just barely cuttable. <laughs> you are falling apart. Mm -hmm. How long did you have it in there for? Uh, we put it on at 11.30. Mm, somewhere around there, yeah. I know why Skeeters ain't getting y'all because they're all over there waiting on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you get attacked when you went over? Yeah. I have to put some of that stuff in me. They, they eat me alive. <clears throat> wow, man, that is cutting nice. Mm. Wow, that looks good. Absolutely. We hope you enjoyed this video on our techniques for making a pork butt, uh, creating the sauce, and a vegetable bake in the smoker. Uh, everything turned out great, and I gotta tell you, we really enjoyed this dinner tonight. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us online for our travel blog at Searching for Solitude. Thanks.